In this lesson, we're going to take another look at dividing a whole number by a decimal, but this time by using fractions. I might be faced with this problem here of 8 divided by 2 tenths. I can rewrite 2 tenths as a fraction in this manner here. 2 tenths, and I said I was going to use fractions. This is how we use fractions. When we're dividing by a fraction, we can rewrite this now as a multiplication problem. We can write 8 times, and remember we use the reciprocal of 2 tenths. So that reciprocal of 2 tenths is 10 halves. I can also write 8 as 8 over 1. And in that case, 8 divided by 1 still is 8, so that I have a fraction not only for that whole number, but also a fraction in the reciprocal there. At this point, I just multiply. 8 times 10 is 80. And 1 times 2 is 2. Let's simplify this. 80 halves, 80 divided by 2, is 40. So my answer for 8 divided by 0 0.2 is 40. I have 12 divided by 4 tenths. I'm going to write each of these numbers as a fraction. That's 12 over 1 divided by 4 over 10. 4 tenths, 4 tenths. 12 over 1, 12 divided by 1 is 12. Fine. At that point, I can go ahead and rewrite this as a multiplication problem. 12 once times the inverse of the 4 tenths, the reciprocal of the 4 tenths, which is 10 over 4. Now that I have my multiplication problem, I just multiply them. 12 times 10 is 120 in the numerator. In the denominators, I have 1 times 4, which is 4. My last step is to simplify. 120 divided by 4 is 30. Is 30. Dividing by 4, I can just divide by 2 twice. 120 divided by 2 is 60, and 60 divided by 2 again is 30. If you needed to work that out for yourself, you could. 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring down the 0, 0, 0 times 4 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. 30. And then so I can write my answer right there. And then sometimes it's better to have more than one approach to solve a problem so that you know that you have that solution. 12 divided by 4 tenths equals 30. Alright, let's walk through a problem. First step is going to be to do what? Rewrite this as what? Fractions is right. 39 we're going to rewrite as what? 39 over 1. We'll keep it a division problem, and we're going to rewrite 0 0.6 is what? 6 tenths. It's read the same way. Now we're going to go ahead and write a multiplication problem for that division problem that we came up with. And to multiply these, we keep that original one the same, what we were dividing the same, and we do what with the 6 tenths? We find the what? If you said reciprocal, fine. If you said inverse, I would have also accepted that answer. And so, instead of 6 tenths, we have 10 6. And all we do now is we just solve that multiplication problem. 39 times 10 is 390. And then in the denominator, I have 1 times 6, which is 6. The 390 over 6, or 396, can also be read as 390 divided by 6. And then to simplify that, I just set up that division problem, and I solve it. Bring down the 0, 30 divided by 6 is 5, 5 times 6 is 30, and 30 minus 30 is 0. No more numbers to bring down, and there's no remainder, so 65 is my answer. 65 is my answer there. You go ahead and try using that same method that I just showed you. Hit pause, please. Did you rewrite both as fractions? 35 over 1 divided by 5 over 10. 
What was that next step? Did you rewrite that division problem as a multiplication problem where we use the reciprocal of 5 tenths? Hopefully you multiplied correctly to get 350, 50, 350 over 5, which does equal 70. Which does equal 70. 350 divided by 5 is 70. That's 35 tens divided by 5, which would be 7 tens. And here's my work for that, if you needed to do it in this manner, which is fine. So my answer should be written with my original number sentence is 70. Read that whole number sentence with me. 35 divided by 5 tenths equals 70. We have 5 divided by 4 tenths, which can be written in fraction form as 5 once divided by 4 over 10. We now rewrite this division problem as a multiplication problem when we're multiplying with the fractions there. 5 over 1 times the reciprocal of 10 fourths. The reciprocal, 10 fourths. 5 times 10 is 50. 1 times 4 is 4. And then all I need to do is to go ahead and write 50 in there, divide it by 4. 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 minus, if we subtract 8 from the 10 there, we get 2. In this case, we have to bring down a 0. So we add a 0 there, bring down a 0. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. Decimal point comes straight up. We had one decimal place there, one decimal place there. So our answer to that is 12.5. And I'll write my answer there as well. So the reason I showed you this is that you might have a decimal point within your answer there. And that's a possibility as well. In fact, you can even have two places or even more than two places, depending on the problem that you have. Your turn to try. Set this problem up and hit pause. Did you set it up correctly? 33 once divided by 4 over 10. Did you write the division problem now as a multiplication problem? Keeping the 33 once times times what? 10 over 4, that reciprocal. Hopefully you did this right, multiplying the numerators. 330, and 1 times 4 is 4, and then you had some division work to do. 330 divided by 4. 4 goes into 33 8 whole times. You'll notice that I placed my 8 directly above that other 3, and the 3 in the tens place, that is. 8 times 4 is 32. 33 minus 32 is 1. Bring down the 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 2. I don't put a remainder. I add a decimal place there. Did you remember to add that decimal place? Bring down the 0, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. Do my one last step there, and place my decimal point. So my decimal point goes right here, 82 and 5 tenths. This makes sense as this would be 82 and the remainder would have been 2 with the 2 fourths, 2 fourths, the 2 right here before we started adding zeros and bringing numbers down. 82 and 2 fourths is just 82 and 1 half and that's how you write 82 and 1 half as a decimal number. So just go step by step you can write things out as a fraction with a division problem, then make it a multiplication problem by using the reciprocal, and then of course you have to simplify your answer.